Hi, my name is Jim Bendewald. I'm with Phantom Knowledge, and I provide training for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the Phantom 3, and the Inspire 1. This particular session is going to be about the Phantom 3 Standard and also the Phantom 3 4K, that new unit that's uh, just come to the market. And so what's different about these models from the Advanced and the Professional is that they have a Wi-Fi connection rather than a wired connection to the mobile device. So um, with the Phantom 3 Standard, this is the, the remote control and then you have your mobile device and it's not connected by wire, it's by Wi-Fi. And so that whole issue is a bit different and so I want to go into the details of that. I want to make sure that when you have your experience with the Phantom 3 Standard that it's going to be a very positive experience. When I first started with my Phantom 2 Vision Plus, a little more than a year ago, about two years ago, it was um, a little bit troubling. It was difficult because uh, I was just got it as we were leaving to go on vacation. The directions were really not all that clear. There was a couple of different pieces of software that needed to be installed, and, they, and there was actually three different pieces, um, and they had to be installed in order. And then there was instructions related to the more advanced features, which are now called the intelligent navigation controls. And so um, I really wanted to understand those advanced features because I wanted to be able to fly where I understood what was happening. So that if the quadcopter is turned in one direction and I'm going right with my right stick, I want to make sure that the quadcopter is going, is going forward. And so if the right stick is coming back, the quadcopter is coming back, no matter which way it's facing. And so when you're using course lock in the intelligent navigation controls, that's exactly what happens. And so that was one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that I was using. So anyway, um, I took it up a few times. The first time I had no trouble. I had lots of wide open area and I was just using the regular controls. And then the second time I was in a more of a parking lot. I took it up and I think I was close to a beach and there was a bit of wind and it didn't take long. And uh, it was veering off to the right and I tried to bring it back and I ended up directing it directly right into the bushes. And so you could imagine, so if the quadcopter is facing uh, in the proper direction and you go, um, say, to the left with, the mobile, with your stick, then everything is fine. But if the quadcopter is facing back toward me and I want it to go to the left and I go left with the stick, it's going to go right. That's a problem. And also if it's uh, a little bit diagonal, then all of a sudden the sticks are completely um, different. They're, they're different than what you expect. So I want you to understand from the very beginning how to get set up with the software, how to understand and make use of the Wi-Fi, and how to understand and make use of the intelligent navigation controls so that your first experience is, is a sense where you have that sense in which you're in control, you know what to expect, and the quadcopter is acting as you as you would expect it to.